to God the Father of heaven, have mercy upon us miserable sinners. and circumcision, by thy baptism, fasting, and temptation. By thy agony and bloody sweat, by thy cross and passion, by thy precious death and burial, by thy glorious resurrection and ascension, and by the coming of the Holy Ghost. In all time of our tribulation, in all time of our wealth, in the hour of death, and in the day of judgment. We 
with us do beseech ye to hear us, O Lord God, and that it may please ye to rule and govern thy holy church universal in the right way. it may please ye to keep and strengthen in the true worshipping of thee, in righteousness and holiness of life, thy servant Elizabeth, our most gracious Queen and Governor. That it may please ye to rule her heart in thy faith, fear, and love, and that she may evermore have affiance in thee, and ever seek thy honor and glory. That it may please thee to be her defender and keeper, giving her the victory over all her enemies. it may please thee to bless and preserve Elizabeth, the Queen Mother, Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, the Prince and Princess of Wales, and all of the royal family. <laughs> that it may please thee to illuminate all bishops, priests, and deacons, with true knowledge and understanding of thy word, and that both by their preaching and living they may set it forth and show it accordingly. <laughs> that it may please thee to endure the High Court of Parliament and all the ministers of the Crown, with grace, wisdom, and understanding. That it may please you to bless and keep the magistrates, giving them grace to execute justice and to maintain truth. That it may please thee to bless and prosper the forces of the Queen by sea, land, and air, and to shield them in all dangers and adversity. <laughs> that it may please thee to bless and keep all thy people. to give to all nations unity, peace, and concord. <laughs> that it may please thee to give us an heart to love and dread thee, and diligently to live after thy commandments. <laughs> it may please thee to give to all thy people increase of grace, to hear meekly thy word, and to receive it with pure affection, and to bring forth the fruits of the Spirit. That it may please thee to bring into the way of truth all such as have heard and are deceived. <laughs> that it may please thee to strengthen such as do stand, and to comfort and help the weak hearted, and to raise up them that fall, and finally to beat down Satan under our feet. That it may please ye to succor, help, and comfort all that are in danger 
necessity and tribulation. It may please you to preserve all that travel by land or by water or by air, all women laboring of child, all sick persons and young children, and to show thy pity upon all prisoners and captives. It may please thee to defend and provide for the fatherless children and widows, and all that are desolate and oppressed. We beseech thee to hear us, That it may please thee to have mercy upon all men. We beseech thee to hear us, that it may please thee to forgive our enemies, persecutors, and slanderers, and to turn their hearts. That it may please thee to give and preserve to our use the kindly fruits of the earth, so as in due time we may enjoy them. That it may please thee to give us true repentance, to forgive us all our sins, negligences, and ignorances, and to endure us with the grace of thy Holy Spirit, to amend our lives according to thy holy word. Beseech thee to hear us. Son of God, we beseech thee to hear us. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, grant us thy peace. Takest away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. Hear us. 